God gave rock and roll to you, gave rock and roll to you. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video here where we are about to witness Paul Stanley, the spaceman from KISS, fly across the sky for the very, for, for the very last time or is it i don't know now it's all uh, now it's all, i'm gonna say in real life the last time you will ever see this guy fly across the stadium and he's gonna tell you i want to come see you but you got to scream my name you got to scream it out loud you got to shout it out loud because i want to come see you but if, but i won't come see you if i don't shout it out i watched the whole concert i had conflicted um, I didn't go to the show at, at, in New York, but I, I have conflicting feelings about this whole thing. It's like a ragamarole in my brain because one, one part of me is saying, that's the end of KISS as we, as we know it. But then technically Ace and Peter were not there and they were a massive part of what they're putting on here at that show and what they did over their careers. And, you know, Paul says, this is the end of the road. We started this band 50 years ago, right here in New York City, and this is where it ends. But then at the very end, they got this digital thing going. Did I say we're leaving? Hell no, we're not. We're doing a digital version of us that will that we'll put out new rock tunes every single month. And it's Avatar, like some kind of digital uh, Avatar situation. We're going to get into this. We're going to watch him do Love Gun. We're going to watch him fly across the cr crowd. He's 60-something years old, and I was thinking to myself the whole time, I couldn't do that. He holds on to the freaking thing. You've seen him do it. He holds on to the rope, and he puts his foot in the ring, and he flies across the audience. I would be shitting my underpants. All I would probably be shitting all over, because I like to wear cargo shorts. You know, us 50-year-olds, we like to wear cargo I would probably be leaving a trail across the faces of half the audience there, just go, just being whizzed across the thing, let alone he's holding on at his age. I don't think that I could even stay stable on the damn thing. So, I mean, just that alone, guys in platform boots, 60-something years ago, uh, old, flying across the, 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 the audience like it's no big deal. We're going to get into this. First, before, though, I got a special nugget for you. This is Gene Simmons in an interview right after... Right moments after he left the stage, just saying, how you feeling about it, Gene? And he gets verklempt and he gets a... But this was bizarre. He talks about a uh, kidney stone he's got in his schmeckle. I was just passing a huge kidney stone and I was peeing in the bathroom and I felt it burning mm. on the tip of my cot when it did not come out. So it's right at the head of my schmeckle. The world's watching this, Gene. So it's it's right at the head of my schmeckle. Here, here we go. You can see my face slip. You see my face That's slip true. on our shirt. I don't care. No, but my big kidney stone is right on the head of my schmeckle. Put it on eBay. Put it on eBay. That's what he said. Put it on eBay. We're going to get into this right now. Um... I'll put, a, I'll put all the links and stuff to this channel. We got Todd Richard. This is the entire show, so I'll put the link down there for that. And then that little clip of that interview came from We Are One, the Kiss Army Nation uh, nation guys. Uh, let's get into it. He's going to... Uh, he's, he's finishing up talking about the time he was driving a cab, and he pointed at... You know, some people were going to Elvis Presley concert, and he says, One day my band's going to play there, and there he is. That was the cue, I think. Yeah. I want to come out there and be with you. I want to be with you. I can do it. But you have to invite me. He's like a vampire. You got to invite the guy. He's waiting for each and every individual to invite him. Every goddamn one of them. Look at that. Look at that. Tell you what. what? Paul? Let's make this easy. I'll count to three. Oh. You say my name as loud as you can. I like that he uses three like that. Not a lot of people do that. Most people do it like that. But I like that he does this for whatever reason. What? 
Chow Drive. Man, that sounds awesome. Could you do it again, maybe? Just a little bit louder. One, two, three. What your friend? Unbelievable. Hey! Do it again! What your friend? Here's what I want. I want you to say it so loud. Oh? That it rings in my ears. Your ear. All night! It rings. One, two, so it rings in my ears all night. He says, God damn it. This, it's been an honor. This is Kevin, Kevin McD McDougal. He has been the man for, for how long have they been doing this? 15, at least 15 years he's been getting on the ring. He says, sir, this is a sad evening for me because this will be the final time that I fly you across the damn stage to visit with the people that you really want to see out there. And it has been a pleasure and an absolute honor. Now he's going to get into arm wrestling. He's got a good arm for arm wrestling or power slap. Been watching that. Paul, watch your freak. I'm coming out there to see you. And this guy, this guy back here is the dude that has been freaking catching, is trying to catch the microphone for, for 15 plus years. And he just, he, he goofed that. Did you see that? Ugh. When it's the full concert, I get scared about, uh, never mind. Never mind, guys. He didn't catch it. Look at that. No way I could do that. There's no way. He's got great core strength. One thing that I'm finding that I that, that makes me think that I might have a better shot at doing something like that would be that this looks to me like a solid pole. It's not a rope, because I would be all bowed out. So it's. I feel like if it was sturdy enough, and that we, and the pole was coming all the way down, and then I've got the loopy do. I feel like I would be better, but I would definitely have both feet in the ring, and I would definitely have both hands on the pole. There it is. It's the last time, guys. Jump off. He's gonna jump off. He's gonna he's gonna do tickle fingers to everyone. Wave, wave, wave. He's gonna do the hair shaky de boop. You know he's got to shake it up. He's gonna kind of strut over and start singing Love Gun. Now he's gonna and turn. One more time. Turn. You jiggle your hair, Paul. Well, he did. He, he did. Technically, guys, he didn't put his hands in it, but he did do the. He did kind of the the the, the groove shake. I mean, I'm 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 conflicted. What the hell's this green line thing going down? Is that some new tech feature that I don't know about, or is that just a, a camera lighting thing? Yeah. Oh, it's a honey, baby. No place to go. He's done that for a long time, too, where he does that pause. Dun, dun, dun. You pull the trigger on my love gun. Mm. Love gun. I mean, it's it's. Uh oh. Okay, I'm appreciating the work that Todd Richard did here. Thank you so much for that, because, I, you know, I like the flip around. It's like, we got our taste. We saw him fly through the sky. We saw what he was, what he's capable of. There's no denying that this man here has, has brought a smile and, well, a, a tear to, to people's eyes for many a long time. And this guy over here with the schmeckle stones. You know, but... Uh, 
I'd love to know what you guys think about it. Is it truly a goodbye? What's the deal with Peter and Ace? Yes. No place for hiding, baby. No place to run. Here's the pause, see? Look on! I mean, you know what? We're going to end it there. Boy, that guy was really hitting the notes. Let's see if he can... One thing that I kind of, uh, we're going to get the hell out of here pretty quick, but the one thing that I was kind of saying, what's the deal with that now, is is that I've only seen one image of the Avatar thing. I don't know that, I, I haven't looked to see if there's any video footage of it or whatever, but I know that they did God gives gave rock and roll to you and it, and it showed the display and shit of what they were going to do with the Avatars. But I found it interesting that the Peter and Ace Avatars actually look like Eric Singer and Tommy Thayer. All of that can be discussed down below in the comments, don't you know? Swing it out and loving you. And tell me your thoughts and opinions on the end of Kiss, the end of the road, and what it all means. Swing it out. You pulled the trigger on oh my love, girl.